g'day, g'day. In today's video, we're going to try air candling. It's something I've always wanted to try. Have you ever seen um, videos or photos of people with big long candles sticking out their ears and wondered what's all that about? Well, today we're going to see if it actually works. We bought these from the pharmacist. Um, that's also called the chemist or the drugstore. So we just went and bought this little pack. It's got two candles inside. It's supposed to pull all the wax from way down deep in your ear. So stuff you can't normally get out that's right down deeper and you can't even see normally. It's supposed to draw that right up to the surface and inside the candle. Just through the flame burning and the oxygen sucking it up I would imagine. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But we're going to see how it goes and whether it does do what it's supposed to. I imagine there's lots of different brands and different companies do them, but this is the one we've got from Biosun. We're going to give it a go on me. Now you're going to need the candles, of course, a pair of scissors handy, and also when I've seen people doing this, I have seen them use something like a tin foil plate or bowl or a plastic plate, even a cardboard plate, and they poke a little hole in the centre of it put the candle through and put it in their ear so that forms a bit of a barrier and I think that's just for safety in case any of the flame or wax or anything drips on your hair or your face. Or a hazmat suit. A hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not just any old candle. A wax candle in your ear won't do anything. It's got to be one of these special ones because they're hollow inside and the burning circulates the oxygen up through it and draws the wax right from deep in your ear. Let's deep in your ear. Deep in your ear? <laughs> Don't put them in your ear. Put them in your ear. Okay, so we have a patient, inpatient patient, lying down on a table. Let's do it. So. They are what they look like. That's the candles. That's one pair or one packet. Oh, okay. They haven't got a wick or anything. It's the actual what they're made out of burns. Yeah. So if you have a look down there. Mm hmm. The whole thing is hollow with a little tube at the bottom and the tube's got like a one-way valve by the look of it so things can come up it but shouldn't be able to go back down. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So we do one ear at a time. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> Yep. Okay. I'm going to grab the lighter. Okay, it's in lighting. So we let it burn down to where the red mark is. There. We're a long way from. How far away is that flame from my head? Oh, a fair way. Is it? Yeah. It feels really close. <laughs> because I can only see the flame out the corner of my eye, it, it looks like it's really close to my head. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it down for a minute and wrap this around your ear. Okay, I've gone ahead and wrapped a towel around the base of it near closest to the ear. So when it gets closer, if the ash falls off, it doesn't burn him. No. Oh, something just bubbled. I think it might have just pulled something up. It's a bit weird. 
wood's getting closer now. Look, guys. Almost done. I can hear a, a tiny bit of crackling. Very close to finishing. Uh, that is one ear done. I just and I have got problems with my ears in my left ear, the one I just did. I'm almost deaf in that ear. Um, I have had hearing problems most of my life, and I had grommets put in when I was younger. So when I was younger, I had a lot of ear infections, and I've never had really good hearing, and often had troubles with my ears. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to try this ear candling out. To see if it made a difference and it's hard to tell because that is my worst ear but it does feel a bit better and while it was burning I could just hear like a shh, uh, a few little weird noises like that and then when it got down a bit further I could hear a little bit of crackling and like it was drawing something up out of my ear so we'll have a look in this little bit um, apparently Colette said there was a red mark there she stopped it when it got down to a red mark and this little pipe in the bottom comes up to about there so we're going to cut open this little bit and see what's in it I'm a bit nervous about doing this because it could be really gross Okay, I'm going to cut some more of that off. Oh, look at that. I was expecting it to be moist, but it's sort of dry. Dry and crumbly. Oh, it's like a material. Okay. I didn't realise that. I thought it was some sort of, like waxy type candle but it's actually a material like cloth looks like cotton so that's the material from around the little pipe and that's the pipe and I don't know if that's off the candle or out of my ear or what I can't wait to try the other ear. It'll be good. This is my better ear normally. I can hear out of it a lot better. So I want to try this ear and see how it goes. Um, that first ear does feel like I can hear out of it better. Very interesting. It was a little bit scary having a flame sticking out of my ear. Just like that. And we're going to put this towel around for safety for safety okay make sure that we didn't move it so we're lighting the top of it and there we go I think it takes roughly about 15 minutes I can hear it so much more in that ear straight away yep okay I probably should have mentioned that before I started. I am almost deaf in my other ear. You know when the wind blows the, the rain really hard against your roof and it sort of comes in surges? It sounds a little bit like that. Close your eyes, relax. Listen to my voice. Is it calming? <laughs> it's a little bit like static on a radio I guess and then every now and again there's a little bit of a bubble and very peculiar 
Okay, we're getting closer to the red line on this ear now. Nearly at the red line. I might be wrong, but it feels like this side has got more wax in it. Okay, we're at the red line, so I'm going to take it out. Yep. It says to take it out and dip the end in water to put the flame out. Okay. okay. Yep. So you can sit up and cut this one open. I'll take this off my head. Gonna do your ears with candles, Diesel. Hey. Gonna do your big ears. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna cut off the burnt bit. So I cut that off. And then I'll cut it down as close to the pipe as I can. And then I'll cut it open. And we'll have a look what's inside. Oh, look. That one's better. Yo. A plug of earwax. So that's from inside there. So all this. So that is ear candling, and my verdict is, yeah, it does work. Um, I was sort of expecting a little bit more wax, to be honest, because I've never had it done before, and I haven't got great ears, I haven't got good hearing, and I thought that there would be a lot more wax in there. So it's a little bit gross, <laughs> but cool at the same time. All right, thank you very much for joining me, watching that. And being involved, remember, take time for the simple joys. Bye.